There's a friendly sound. It's a friendly beat. I guess we haven't we didn't do this in a while. Like a few days at least, right? Yeah. It feels so good. I feel so good. I don't know if you can tell. I feel so good. <laughs> Maybe if I say it enough times, that'll work. Yeah. I don't think that's how it works. It's a mentality, thing, you know? A mindset. The mm -hmm. way in which you approach things. I've been trying to wake up for a few days. That's what I'll say about that. Yeah, it's been a long week. I don't know what it is, man. Like the weather changed and then... It feels it feels my body is in an adaptation mode, I'm, where I'm getting up in the morning and I'm like, did I sleep at all? Am mm -hmm. I, am I here right now? You question yourself like that? Am I alive? Yeah. Was I dreaming? Am I dreaming? You are definitely dreaming. Oh no, it's just fall. That's all it is. Oh okay. It's just fall. Yeah. Anyway, we're back, so let's not get carried away with it. Let's mm -hmm. get right into it. Apple products could see noticeable price rises amid increased chip costs. Apple will need to pay more for the chips in its devices and may pass rising costs on to its customers, according to sources. E yeah, chip shortages, chip prices. Apple customers will pay more, won't they? They don't mind. Say, what's the price? Huh? Two grand? Three grand? Give it to me now! I need that new iPhone. Which iPhone? I don't know. iPhone 13, 14, 15. Just one of them. Well, the new one's coming up next week. Yeah, the new one's next week. But what are they going to call it? Is it actually going to be 13? Did we ever find out? They're just going to go with 13. Mm -hmm. They uh, Some are superstitious about the number. Apparently not enough. Not enough for superstitious. Where are they superstitious with that number? I, I keep saying it's a superstitious number, but I don't know where. Like its origins? Like you can't have, oh, there you go. Commonly linked to the early Christians, the number 13 appears in certain biblical traditions. For example, 13 people present at the Last Supper, Jesus and his 12 apostles. Some say the betrayer Judas was the 13th to join the table. <laughs> All those years later, you can't have of an iPhone with the number 13. Yeah. But don't, isn't it, sometimes they skip the 13th floor, right? That's yeah, crazy, man. A lot of them Traditions do. and superstitions, that's wild stuff. Uh -huh. Human beings, being a human. Planet Earth, floating. Apes. Floating marble. Uh, yeah, so TSMC's chips were already around 20% more expensive than those from its direct rivals, but smaller foundries have ramped up their own prices to higher material and logistical costs, and TSMC has committed to $100 billion in the new investment over the next three years, motivating the company to increase its prices to maintain its premium and pass these additional costs on to clients. Hey, that's the way it goes. What gets passed down one level, passed down the next level. Costs so right now the me. iPhone 12 Pro is 1000 bucks. What if they move it to a hundred bucks more? Do you think people will care? You're talking about eleven hundred bucks? Yeah. They don't care, man. They need that. They, really? don't, they don't care. They just need those phones. They say, What is it? Eleven hundred? Let me finance that. <laughs> they say, what Very is it? expensive though. I, I don't know. I don't I, every time is it? every time we said it was expensive as things had been happening and 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 there was a whole era of like phones are expensive you know people aren't even saying that stuff anymore they were just like uh whatever i don't know yeah it's like what is this folding phone i have it's two grand yeah i, I don't know it's all it's crazy out here i'm people, guessing everyone will follow suit then all the other brands higher prices yeah yeah I don't, I don't, honestly, I really don't know what the cutoff is because every time I think it's going to be the case that this one is too expensive, they just have some sort of like record profit. And you're like, all right, well, there you go. Well, maybe somebody, it's too cheap. Somebody bought it. Somebody bought it. But they do have cheaper models. Yeah, so that's probably, I mean, we have to say that too. Well, mm -hmm. you don't have to get the Pro or Pro Max. I guess you can, what, what are you supposed to get? If, a if mini? You're, you're getting a mini, Okay. So just or the SE. Shut up and get your mini. 
Right. Stop yelling at Tim Cook. He's got enough people yelling at him. People are mad at him right now. I don't know if you knew that. They internally, memos, mm. surveys. Slack. Uh, Harassments. You know, corporate life, man. Mm-hmm. We got a similar thing around here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Apple confirms four new iPhones and a nasty surprise for iPhone 12. You know when you put nasty in a headline, well, yeah, you get Will's click nasty in there. He says, "Ooh, that's juicy, salacious." And your new iPhone 12 just became legacy. So, are, do we have a new iPhone coming out? Is like that what people are <laughs> stressing about? Is there a new iPhone? Will? Yeah. <laughs> um. So the iPhone 13 is coming out yeah. next week, but they say. That the iPhone 12 will not be on sale anymore mm. since it's deemed a legacy phone. But they normally hang on to some form of the previous version, don't they? Is this this is different than usual? I think so. Because can you still buy the iPhone 11? 11. I don't know. Let's see what let's see what we can buy right now. That's what I want to know. We can buy the 12 Pro, the 12, the SE, and we can buy the 11 and the 10R. The 10R is still sticking around, eh? It's the budget phone. This is the cheapest one, right? Or I guess the SE is. How much is the SE? Let's get to the bottom of this. Select 64 gigs of the of the 10R. The 10R. Yeah. Just pick any color. It doesn't matter. 499. You get the 10R. And the SE, these are, of course, U.S. prices. You get the SE for less than that, $299, $399. All right. Yeah, maybe the, maybe the 10 r is a better deal, $499. So does that mean the SE hangs around still and the 10 r hangs around, but then the 11 just vanishes? I guess it's possible. And is it because maybe the iPhone 12 and the 13 are too similar? Why are you in the education store right now? I don't know. <laughs> You're trying to do, get a deal or something? Well, let me exit. There you go. What are you trying to do over here? Catch a deal like you're some sort of student? Oh, I'm always a student. Student of life. Student of the game. Sure. Student of um, programming and web development and JavaScript. Mm-hmm. Crypto. Crypto will. Definitely a student of crypto. Crypto will. I'm a Padawan of crypto. Man, you got to chill with all these <laughs> coins and what? tokens. You got to chill, man. You're getting out of control. The people are concerned. I'm getting private messages from people. They say, you gotta, oh, yeah? Yeah, they say you got to check up on him. Oh, okay. Well, I'm I'm glad. They said, Thank they, you they, they said for the your crypt, They said the crypto stuff is out of control. Mm-hmm. This is well, people, it, it is. This is people who, with knowledge, people who are close to the matter. Really? Yeah, you don't even know who it is. Oh. Is yeah. it Michael Saylor? Who's that? <laughs> He's a Bitcoin advocate. Yeah, Michael. Micro be. strategy. Okay, maybe it's him. Yeah. That guy. Okay, good. All right. So legacy phone. So they get rid of the iPhone eleven, so you have to feel worse about hanging on to your iPhone eleven, so you gotta get or iPhone twelve, sorry. Sure. They get rid yeah. of the iPhone twelve. Wait. And the eleven, presumably. Why hang on to that? They mm-hmm. can still sell that right now. God, it's so, too many phones over here. Yeah. Apparently, they're also going to sell four models of the iPhone 13, just like the 12. So the mini hangs in there. Yes. Just for hopefully one more year. Yeah. I saw Kirk started using the mini. He likes it. Yeah. I don't know. This is no surprise to me. Oh, okay. Apple's car chi- Oh, I saw this news. Mm. I saw that story. Apparently, this is a big deal because we did a story recently, which was maybe you're going to see the Apple car sooner than later. And this story seems to indicate probably the opposite. Apple's car chief is heading to Ford. Doug Field has been hired by Ford as chief advanced technology and embedded systems officer. This was the car guy at Apple. Mm -hmm. Um, Building the system. Field was a VP of special projects at Apple where he was the de facto head of the company's confused efforts to make an autonomous electric car, known as Project Titan. 
He had a previous stint at Apple where he was once the VP of Mac hardware engineering, but left the company in 2013 to become Tesla's chief vehicle engineer. So he knows all the secrets. This guy's a hot ticket. Uh. You know, imagine you're him. You're getting wined and dined by all the tech companies yeah. and auto companies. They're like, go get me that field guy. Mm -hmm. And he's like, he's like, I'll hear you out. Mm -hmm. I'll have your meal. I'll, I'll eat your steak. Yeah. I'll dine. I'll, I'll wine and dine? Yeah. You can wine and dine me, and mm -hmm. I'll let you know. Let me see the paperwork. Let me see. And then you go from Tesla to Apple to Ford, and Ford's doing things right now. Mm -hmm. Lightning. They're doing things. Um, but what does it mean for the Apple car? Well, let's say this thing, there was a lot of work in it, and it was getting close in any way. The last thing you can do is leave at that point. You want to take credit for these type of things. Mm-hmm. So chances are, I mean, it just feels like it's not going well or it feels like it's just further off mm -hmm. where you get an offer from a company like Ford, you get to start working on stuff that's going to hit the market sooner, maybe you get paid more, who knows what other reasons. And you say, I'm going to go do that instead. We've done so many stories on Apple trying to partner with this brand or that brand, the Korean brands. and Yeah, whenever a chief leaves, that's a problem. That's wow. a big deal. Wow. The Chiefs. Wow. You know? I never want to lose a Chief. No. No, no. Did, so, did you mean that in terms of like tech companies or were you going <laughs> deeper than that? Um, Just tech companies. Oh, because I felt, wasn't planning on going It felt deeper. tribal for a second mm -hmm. when you were like, whenever the Chief leaves. Can the Chief leave? Talking about the, the a tribe? tribe. Yeah. <sighs> They're tied to it, right? Oh, that's deep. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to go too deep. I would assume someone had to go catastrophically wrong for a chief to leave. You can't Google. Can a chief leave a tribe? Can't Are you nuts? A chief cannot leave their <laughs> island without making another member a chief first. Oh, so they can. This is a game. <laughs> <laughs> My singing monster. Well, man, it's a video game. Oh, man. Got my hopes up. Oh, can't take us down there. Anyway, no, typically, no. You don't want a chief to leave. Any chief. Yes. All chiefs, you want them to hang around, uh -huh. including this chief, car chief. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Congrats, Doug Field. I presume you got a better job, so. Uh, sucks that there's not going to be an Apple car anytime soon, but hopefully you can do something cool at Ford. I think Ford's doing some cool things anyway. Mm -hmm. Google Pixel 6 teaser gives first real-world look at the upcoming phone. Oh, yeah. What is this, a commercial? Yeah. It might be announced October 19th. Um, I don't mind this phone. I'll use this phone. I'll slap a SIM card in that phone. With the visor on it and the Daft Punk memes and everything else. Give me something different. Give me some Pixel. Mm. This is pretty slick. It's, uh, yeah, this is a very lifestyle um, ad mm. here. Oh, I see. The pastel. People are dancing. Pastel happy colors. photography. Font. We did get a look at uh, their clocks. Hmm. Clock widget, I guess. Hmm. So you can totally customize them, how they look. Certified pixel lovers. Yeah. October. So they put it out in October. So they come, uh, they have the event, I guess it comes out after the iPhone. Interesting strategy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's not ready or the software looks good. It's going to be curious. The yeah. regular, I, I mean, I want to know how the regular person feels about all this. Uh, do you are you do you cross shop an iPhone and the Pixel? Do you, are you considering both? Mm -hmm. Listen to this, all right. Six Pro is supposed to have a six point seven inch one twenty hertz QHD plus curved display, three rear cameras, including an ultra wide and four times optical telephoto lens folded. And then there's a six point four inch ninety hertz with no telephoto on the uh, what is it the non Pro model. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something, Will. As a man and a person in the world, as a guy, you have two options sitting in front of you. 
there's a fork in the road and you're hungry. I'm getting wine and dine. <laughs> <laughs> you're hungry for new phones. Okay. You're not going to be using the fork to eat anything. You have to travel oh. down the fork. You understand? It's a different fork. Got my hopes up. All right. Sometimes they don't even include the, they don't even include the f fork. We were trying to have we were trying to eat yangs the other day. Mm -hmm. It was no cutlery. They didn't give us chopsticks. They didn't give us forks. They didn't give us spoons. It was no options. Yeah, they were hoping we would go tribal with it, just hands. Wow. Or they thought, I guess, that we were like regular citizens and that we would have some cutlery in this premises. No, no. Here. <laughs> oh. The fork you're at is one that you travel. And you select, you go left or you go right. Mm. And to the left, you have the new iPhone 13, whichever version of it you like. And to the right, you have the new Google Pixel 6, whichever version of it that you like. Mm. Which way are you going to travel this year? Those so, are your only two options. I give you no other options in this scenario. I've used Android for the past, I guess, three years. I think I'm going to switch to the iPhone 13. Did you hear that? As I slowly dropped a bottle for dramatic yeah, I effect? I think everyone heard that. Wow. Yeah. I'm feeling the exact opposite right now for myself. Well, you came from an iPhone. Didn't we all? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you used it for, what, a couple months? The way you said that made it sound like an iPhone gave birth to me. You, but you came from an iPhone. Yeah. Consider it. Yeah. You're, you were nothing without that iPhone. Honestly, I use an iPhone 3G. It was the first iPhone that I used. And I had zero allegiance or alliance to it. That's just been my life in the tech game since the very beginning. It's been back and forth. I went from that phone to a BlackBerry to one of the early Galaxy S models, back to another iPhone, back to this, back to that, before YouTube, before anybody cared what I was up to. People barely care at this point, but you see what I'm saying here, Will? Mm -hmm. So, God, look how cheap that was. Well, on a contract. You sign away your life for one ninety nine, dude. But still, yeah, I mean, definitely not what we're dealing with these days. Uh, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the design of the Pixel being so different and the new iPhone being so similar to the previous generation mm -hmm. as well. It just feels more newness, and I haven't used a Pixel in a while, but whatever. Either way, how much does it really matter which way you travel at this fork in the road? It doesn't <laughs> so why were you so surprised? What, the Dropping iPhone? the water bottle. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. It was dramatic okay. effect. Well, okay. so this is a show. People are watching this show. Are they? I don't know. <laughs> Seven or eight people are yeah. watching this show, as they say. Motorola's over-the-air space charging tech can charge four devices simultaneously. Oh, I'm into this. You like this? You like the over-the-air charging? I, I, anything over the air. Like true wireless charging? Anything, you know. So they have a video here. This, we've seen other brands show this type of thing off. Mm -hmm. Motorola has now introduced an improved version of its over-the-air charging solution, which can charge up to four devices at the same time, even when they are placed up to three meters away. Uh, the updated space charging air charge station features a total of 1,600 antennas. It will uh, pass through obstructions and provide a wider 100-degree area of coverage. It can only charge devices at up to 5 watts, which is slower, of course, than the best wireless chargers. But it's like, it's actual wireless, man. Mm -hmm. Your phone is just near it. I like it. Am I concerned? Maybe. That would be my question. They just all this power traveling meters what if my body's the obstruction mm -hmm. i love it i don't know whatever i like technology i can't help it it's cool <laughs> whatever it's cool yeah it's cool i'm sure like find a way to do it just scroll down because there was another company that did this i think it referenced it yeah oh uh xiaomi has showcased the me air charge solution that was in january and oppo demonstrated wireless air charging tech 
alongside the Oppo X 2021 in February. So this is a race. They're racing for it. It's probably a little ways off, but uh, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Air power in the air, real air power. <clears throat> Today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. Going online without ExpressVPN is like changing while leaving your window wide open. Mm. You, you wouldn't do something like that, Will. Hopefully not. Some things are better off private. You might not have anything to hide, but why give a random creeps a chance to invade your privacy? If you go online without a VPN, then your service provider can see everything that you're up to. They can even sell that data and information and... I mean, you just don't need that. You don't want that. You don't need it. You can install it on a wide variety of devices. It can go on your iPhone, Android, Mac, Windows. You can install it in your browser, on your router. It's really easy to use. And it also unlocks content that's region locked in mm -hmm. certain places. So you can go find whatever you want to watch and not be denied your content. Mm. Uh, you can secure your online activity by visiting expressvpn.com slash later today. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash later, And then you'll get an extra three months free. It's expressvpn.com slash later. You can click the link in the description if that's easier. It'll get you three extra months free. And of course, then they'll know that we sent you. Thank you, ExpressVPN. Our next sponsor is HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Thinking about seasonal recipes here, we're coming into fall. It's got me thinking about warm meals, I'll tell you that. It's got me thinking about uh, sheet pan barbecue meatloaf. Look at that. Flautas? Yeah, it might have you think about some flautas. Supreme, by the way. That does look good. Pico de Gallo. Right. And lime crema. Ready in 30 minutes. Look at that one. Now they list easy cleanup. So not just easy prep, but easy cleanup. If you don't even want to be messing around with cleanup, man, they got so many ways to select whatever it is that you want. Look, here's the thing. You, you got to eat healthy. You know, you got to have all the food groups represented. And sometimes I'll notice with HelloFresh, they'll send me something I wouldn't have necessarily cooked on my own. And then I end up cooking. I'm saying, oh, I like that. Mm. I'll take that right there. Mm. And you can see they got even rankings for recipes that people really enjoy. You can go with the reviews that are on there as well. Fall is busy, but HelloFresh recipes save time. You'd otherwise spend meal planning, shopping, and chopping. Got no time for chopping. So you can get back to what matter what matters. HelloFresh's family friendly friendly menu is a big win for back to school season. Yeah, man, you run out you run out of time with the back to school season. Yeah. Plus, you might have a leftover for the lunch the next day. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just saying. So anyway, it's delicious stuff. I tried all all kinds of it, and I've never been disappointed. Go to HelloFresh.com slash LouLater14 and use code LouLater14 for up to 14 free meals, including free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash LouLater14. Use code LouLater14 for up to 14 free meals. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. That's 14 free meals, Will. I don't know about you, but I like a free meal. Mm -hmm. You know what I like better than a free meal? 14 free meals. Can't go wrong with that. HelloFresh.com slash LouLater14. Twitter takes on Facebook groups with invite-only communities, a mix of Facebook groups and Reddit. So I, I don't know much about Facebook groups. I, I assume the way this works is it's sort of like... Uh, Just think of Reddit subreddits. It's similar to that. Except connected to your Facebook profile, to you. Yeah. So it probably has a tendency to be more local. Um, like, could it like would a farmer's market have a group? Yes, right? I don't know. I'm just I'm trying yeah. to imagine the opt. I, I, I guess oh, so. For this, um, an example would be like a crypto group. You could talk to anyone around the world. You just couldn't help yourself. Could in you? Crypto. you just couldn't help yourself. Could you? <laughs> well, this is the example they provided as well a mix of Facebook groups and Reddit. So, this is on Twitter now, mm -hmm. it's called Communities. And I, I suppose the advantage here is that it's private. You only get in there if you're invited to go in there. Yes, for so, now. So you could you could create crypto will or crypto do or do crypto. Mm. 
Don't mind that. <laughs> <laughs> and then everybody wants to be in it because it's the hottest crypto conversation. Sure, yeah. Do crypto. Which one are we doing? What's the name? Which one is the best of those? I like uh, do crypto. Do crypto. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag do crypto. Starting Wednesday, tw uh, Twitter users can be invited to an initial batch of communities that include Astro Twitter, Dog Twitter, Skincare Twitter, and Soul Food, which is a group for sneaker enthusiasts. That's S O L E mm -hmm. food, not S O U L. I'm hungry either way. Once people join a community, they can tweet directly to other members rather than to just their followers. Only members of a community can like or reply to the tweets sent by other members. They're trying to make it a nice, friendly place where you talk to the right people and it's a little bit less screaming and yelling and threatening things and stuff like that. Yes. And it can just, I guess, be more specific. You could have car enthusiasts, EVs, uh -huh. Tesla types, Apple fans. I can just picture all of it. And you can have moderators there as well. That's cool. I don't have a problem with this. Mm -hmm. Well, I got no problem with this. Would you use it? No. I can't be. I, what, who, who, I got my own community. I told you I'm out there. What about a dog community? I can't be in those other. I can't be in the virtual communities. I'm in the, I'm in the physical community. And the physical community um, requires a lot of attention. Sure, yeah. When you're in it. That's true, yes. It, it, it's uh, more than just a message here or there. It's you got to move yourself around. You got to move your physical body around to the variety of events and things like this. Mm -hmm. I've explained it to you before. Yeah, <laughs> I gathered. You've gathered. Yeah. A single laser fired through a keyhole can expose everything inside a room. Mm. Excuse me? So obviously there's some science behind it. Obviously. Um, this video shows it pretty well. They shine a light through... A keyhole. Okay, why why do you want to do this? So based on what they read, or what I read, is um, maybe there's some sort of accident, like a building collapse or something, and they want to survey the room without going inside. What they can do is shine a light through certain holes in the room, and they could just survey the whole room. This is like a hostage situation. Yes. Or like a peeping Tom situation as Easy. well. Easy. <laughs> but this is a pretty cool example of it, you know, if they were trying to rescue someone. The keyhole imaging technique developed by researchers at Stanford University Computational Imaging Lab is so named because all that's needed to see what's inside a closed room is a tiny hole, such as a keyhole or peephole, large enough to shine a laser beam through, creating a single dot of scroll... Light on a wall inside, the laser light bounces off a wall and an, an object in the room and then off the wall again, countless photons eventually being reflected back through the hole and to the camera, which use, utilizes a single photon avalanche photo detector to measure the timing of their return. Good Lord. Yes. A single photon avalanche photo detector. So I'll you could see it take two happening right now. They're just trying to find the waves of uh the object Which where the light is bouncing back mannequin in this case and hostage uh, situation um sure domestic violence or something they gotta like look inside and see what's going on and they showed the results of uh the silhouettes ghostbusters <laughs> <laughs> yes this is a crazy how do you even end up on this story well like what well it's on gizmodo just keep this. We're gonna. What is it? What are the? What is? The, you need a special camera for this. Only yeah. po only police departments are gonna have this. For yes. Forensics. Rescuing. Imagine? Rescue. Yeah. yeah. To me, my mind goes to rescue. Okay. So, it's wow. interesting. That's nonetheless. wild tech. Tesla obtains a patent on its wild idea to use lasers as what well. you got a you got a laser thing going on today. Two lasers in a row. Sure. In this case, Tesla's going to use lasers as windshield wipers. Now that, I can get uh -huh. on board with that. So that's, uh, <laughs> that seems hard. It's going to evaporate the rain. <laughs> and possibly dangerous. Yeah. Tesla has actually managed to obtain a patent on its idea to use lasers to clean debris off vehicles. Laser beams as windshield wipers. Mm -hmm. Two years ago was the first word on this. 
Here is how it's described in the, plat- in the patent. A cleaning system for a vehicle includes a beam optics assembly that emits a laser beam to irradiate a region on, the, on a glass article of the vehicle, debris detection circuitry that detects debris accumulated over the region, and control circuitry. The control circuitry calibrates a set of parameters associated with the laser beam emitted from the beam optics assembly based on detection of the debris accumulated over the region on the glass article, controls an exposure level of the laser beam on the debris accumulated based on calibration of the set of parameters associated with the laser beam, wherein the exposure level is controlled based on pulsing the laser beam at a calibrated rate that limits penetration of the laser beam to a depth that is less than a thickness of the glass article and removes the debris accumulated over the region of the on the glass article using the laser beam. This is... Man, patent talk. Wow. So you got all of that? Patent talk. It's very repetitive, but uh, you have to be quite clear here. And the images show a uh, literal uh, drawing here of how this would operate. They, it's, that's laser beams. Uh, yes. This feels to me very uh, preemptive and not happening anytime soon. No. They're saying like it has to be exactly powerful enough to not penetrate the glass and... Burn your eyeballs. Would it be distracting? How visible would these be in your rear view? Or if some one of these people's behind you, they get their lasers f- going and... You ask too many questions. <laughs> it is interesting, though, that the Cybertruck didn't have any windshield wiper. Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. They have to. Have wipers? Yeah. yeah I, I mean, this tech is obviously not ready. Yeah. Unless Elon surprises everyone. Or it is. not. Nah. Or it is. They... If, if this was going to be ready with a Cybertruck, they would have showed that off yeah. when they showed off the Cybertruck. I mean, they were whipping rocks at it or yeah. metal balls or whatever it was. So uh-huh. they could have showed one version of it. Rivian R1T gets 314 miles of range, but not with the biggest battery. There's still an even larger capacity battery pack for those who need more mileage. That's that's decent. That's pretty good. Yeah, right? that's pretty good. So it's official. Uh, if I, okay, the R1T is quoted at 314 on a charge according to the EPA. Uh, and the, and by the way, the EPA is pretty uh, intense scrutiny there. So it's like not the manufacturer saying it, the EPA is saying it. Whereas the R1S sits at 316 miles. That's the large 135 kilowatt hour battery pack and 21 inch wheels. Mm-hmm. Um, still about 315 miles from the mid-grade option is not bad at all. So I'm confused here. Uh, there will be a, however, that's not the largest one that they'll sell. There'll be a smaller capacity option targeting 230. Oh, max pack is what I want. 400 miles. Mm-hmm. But it will cost 10 Gs more. 400 miles. Can you do 400 miles to KM for me real quick? I have to get this. I have to get this truck. I have to get this truck. That's insane. I have to get that truck. The Rivian? Yeah, why don't they give those, where are those trucks at? The maxed out Rivian? Can you go to their website? Can I get it right now or no? Um, when do they say I would get it? I need a Max R1T. I'm not getting it anytime soon. This stuff just takes forever. I like this truck. It's fine. 2022? Uh, late? Late. Late. Okay. Okay. And a and, and little bit pricey too. So we're back in Cybertruck land and then... Because it all gets complicated. I was thinking, I was hoping it could be soon. What a race they're having. What a race there is that's out there for, to get this electric truck on the market mm-hmm. between Ford and Rivian and Tesla and whatever other ones I'm missing. GM, because they got the electric Hummer as well. By the way, why, don't, why, why haven't we had that electric Hummer in the studio? Do you know? Uh, I see are it. they available? I don't know. I see it all over the place. The electric? Yeah. And then I was shooting the thing for the Cadillac the other day. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, we know people over there. Oh. Just feel like we should get that Hummer over in the studio. Look, and be cool to check it out. Anyway, whatever. Yeah. It's neither here nor there. Yeah. Sticking on the car stuff. How about this? A 1,073 horsepower Porsche. 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 Mission R previews the electric future of customer racing. That's a really cool name. Absolutely. Because the original mission concept R. was the was the Mission E, right? Yeah. And then they're like, well, R is always good. <laughs> Actually, it kind of still looks like my car. 
minus the rear doors and obviously the trunk, but the headlights and yeah, the and, front and the in the hood and uh, the shape around the front, the the curves around the front to uh, wheels. Uh, yeah, I like it. You know what? I like it. I like it. I can't get this either. This is just for... Why did they say customer racing? What is that supposed to mean? What do you mean? In the headline, it said uh, the future, electric future of customer racing. Uh, so you can actually... You can get it and put it on the, the course? The electric Mission R concept is half the size of a 178. A 718 Cayman, but wider and lower, and it can hold its own with the 911 GT3 Cup car around the track. Uh, we're going to have to read a little bit more of this. Uh, stay in the points there. Uh, zero to 62 time, less than 2.5 seconds, top speed over 186 miles per hour, and it can recharge from 5 to 80% in 15 minutes. Mm. 900 volt electrical architecture. I'll take that too. The Mission R is currently a running prototype, not scheduled for production, but its development will continue with a fully realized version expected by 2025. Well, it's way off, way, way off. I like that charge speed maybe more than anything else. Mm. What did they say? Five to 80% in 15 minutes? Is that what they said? Five to 80% in 15 minutes. You would need a crazy charger for that, right? 900 volt. Yeah, it's not going to be in here. You either like... Tear, no, you don't want to install you know, tear up the street to get that one in here. That is cool. A 429 horsepower unit on the front axle and a 644 horsepower motor powering the rear. Man, they're in it now. They're in it now. How does this compare to the Rimac? Look, at even my Taycan is 800 volt electrical system. Uh. If I got the right charger, mine, I, I, you know what, Will? Let me tell you something, Will. Just for the sake of it, I'm going to seek out one of those chargers just to try it out and time it. Mm. Because they're around. I just, I'm always charging over here. I haven't really had to. But I want to see at the max capacity of, of my car how fast it can recharge. Anyway, this one's even way cooler. 2025 uh, race, true competition car. Look at that thing. Good Lord. You should take yours to the track. Really? You trying, Give her. You trying to get rid of me here, Will? <laughs> <laughs> I want to take it to the Go track. faster, Lou. Yeah. You you gotta you gotta bring the VW. We go head to head. Okay. <laughs> Just let me uh talk to VW again. Rent it for a week. Lil Uzi Vert says fans ripped a twenty four million dollar diamond out of his forehead. I heard about this. Yeah, I heard about this. He made made waves originally when the diamond was first uh, installed in his forehead there. A $24 million diamond that you wear around seems like quite a commitment. Uh, anyway, apparently he was at, was it Rolling Loud Festival? I, 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 a music I, festival. Yeah, I caught this story. Uh, yeah, Rolling Loud. And then he jumped into crowd and uh, somebody ripped it out or it ripped out. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, those uh, crowd surfing actions are very wild. Very wild. I've never done it before, but like people like get hurt. Striking me is a pretty risky thing to do with a twenty-four million dollar uh, uh, diamond implant, sur mm -hmm. surgically implanted into into your face. But he seems like he's having fun with it. I saw he that someone was questioning him paparazzi or whatever, and he uh, had a little chuckle. He didn't seem too bothered by it. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good. Here's what he says. I, oh, this is this is an old one, right? I've been paying for a natural pink diamond from Elliot for years now. This one stone, scroll up a little bit, costs as much as I've been paying for it since 2017. That was the first time I saw a real natural pink diamond. A lot of M's in my face. Mm -hmm. Well, M's, that's millions. Millions, yes. I gotcha. He's been paying for it since 2017. So just like a million at a time here and there, I guess. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a really crazy uh, thing to buy. But as far as investments go, if it's really that rare, I'm not talking about wearing it around. Yeah. But as far as investments go, you know, it probably is definitely not going to I mean, to it's zero. definitely not going to expire. 
it's not going to zero. It, and it's it, it, always on ma you. maintaining its value. I just it's just the wearing on the head part. But I guess he's probably got an insurance policy for it. Yeah, that's a heck of a policy, isn't it? Yeah. It's a diamond that's going to be. I'm going to wear my forehead. It's worth 24 million, and I want you to protect it from anything that might happen. I mean, they're going to charge him. That's going to cost. Oh, I don't know, half a million a year or something to insure it. I, I don't know. I hope it goes up in value. Maybe, maybe not that much. Per, I don't know. It's a custom policy for something like that. Yeah. Anyway, for sure. it came out of his head. It was or it was ripped out of his head, but he got it back. He did. Yeah, he didn't well, lose it. It was was it ripped off like literally off his head or was it just like loose? No, I think it came off. Oh. I think it came off. I, look, my understanding how this all works, there's a piercing there which holds it in place. Yes. So, I don't I don't think the piercing ripped out completely. I think maybe just whatever however it was connected to the piercing maybe. Hmm. And well, anyway, this is we're going to need to stick a laser beam through a keyhole to figure this one out. <laughs> yeah. So did you see the Matrix uh, I'm a trailer? Big, I'm a big Matrix. You can't play this trailer. No, on, on no, thing. I can't. I, I'm a big Matrix. Did you see it? Guy. Um, I like the Matrix. Okay. The first movie. I didn't even think you had to have other movies. Like I thought it was wrapped up sure. so neatly and tightly. Yeah. But I just, you know, the whole universe, the whole vibe of it, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Uh, Keanu's looking great. Uh, maybe you can give me a synopsis of the trailer. Like, what, what do I need to know? Hmm. By the way, is that real or is that CG? What am I this looking at? This is CG. Oh, okay, so CG. I, I, I think it's very artistic where they kind of make it look like CG, like it's a simulation kind of thing. Um. The Resurrections, Matrix Resurrections mm -hmm. is kind of like um, literally the name itself. I, I, The trailer kind of shows off that maybe Keanu or Neo was reborn. Um, in this trailer, he doesn't even know who Trinity is. Interesting. And it seems like there's a younger Morpheus. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, we're playing with time a little bit here. Yeah. We're playing with time. Yeah, maybe they go back in time. This trailer is very ambiguous, I feel like. There's, there's not, there is a red pill, blue pill moment though. There's a lot of that. They keep going back to the pills. And he's not a drug I'm, addict. I, I, or listen, something. I'm in I'm down for it, man. I'm in. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. When do I watch it, Will? Uh it's coming out December twenty second on HBO Done Max. Done deal. I I HBO, I can watch it at home too? Uh, I guess so. Oh, it's over. Yeah, theaters and I'm HBO Max. I'm doing it. Re Matrix Resurrection. So. December 22, the holidays. This okay. Christmas. So I'm guessing you're excited. I'm doing it. Okay. No, seriously though, I want to watch it. All right. Cool. I'm going to watch the trailer first, but I want to watch it. Yeah. It's too bad you can't play the trailer on here, but like. Yeah. Neo Matrix Simulation. It's got all the parts, man. It's great. It's got all the parts, it's man. Great concept. Great execution. Official trailer one. How many trailers before is out though? It's gonna be quite a few. Ten. Yeah. <laughs>